Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your TradeView X account to your MT4 account and terminal. The way that you do this and that's found inside the bottom right hand corner where it says connect account. I've already clicked on it here. You're going to get an option here to enter an account number. So I'm going to enter my demo account number and you can do the same with either your live accounts or demo accounts, it doesn't matter. But once we've been able to do that, we can see here there's a button called generate because we need to generate an EA for our MT4 account. Once we've clicked to generate, we're going to get a terms and conditions um, page up, which you need to read, risk warning, which you need to understand, pricing and execution, which you need to understand. Once you have understood it, you can tick the box, which says, I hereby confirm I've read and understood. Click accept. And that's going to now start to generate an EA, an algorithm, which we need to download. It already has done here for us and we need to now install this on our MT4 account. So it does give you some instructions here of what you need to do. It says place your EA inside the experts folder and select all history. So we're going to go ahead and do this now. So let's go inside our um, download first. So what we need to do is we need to copy this file that we've just downloaded into our MT4 terminal so the way in which you do that I'm on Google Chrome so it's um, it's downloaded my um, file here I need to find this in my downloads folder so I'm going to open up my downloads folder I'm going to right click on the file I'm going to hit cut and now I'm going to open up my mt4 terminal so let me bring open my mt4 terminal so you can see now I've got my mt4 terminal open I'm going to go to file, open data folder, and we need to paste this file inside MQL4 and then inside experts. So those of you who have followed the XBuilder video, you will have seen we've done this to show how to install an EA onto our MT4 and we're going to follow the exact same process here. So now we've got TradeView send orders 101 2907 so that's the same account number of which I'm logged into right now I'm gonna hit close here and then I need to go into my experts um, folder inside the navigator I need to refresh that folder in case it's not already there I'm gonna open up a new chart and basically I'm gonna drag this EA onto the chart here now there's a few things that we need to do before it runs we need to make sure allow DLL imports is ticked. So that's done inside common. We need to make sure allow live trading is ticked, which it already is because I've got auto trading running. And of course, you need to have auto trading running. So now I've been able to do that. I'm going to hit OK. One final thing that you can do inside your terminal. If you go to account history, we need to make sure we've selected all history in here. So that's the one final thing. At the minute, this is a completely fresh demo account, so there's no trading history. But if yours has got history, just make sure you've right-clicked and hit, hit, hit all history. Now, once that's been able to install correctly, we should see it located in the top right corner as an EA with a smiley face, of which we can see trade view, send orders, account number, and then a smiley face. So now, if we go back to our MT4 account, uh, sorry, our TradeViewX account, and our platform, we should now see that that account has been linked. So let's go back to our TradeViewX. So we can see inside our TradeViewX platform, I can close down all of this because we've actually done all of that now. But inside here in the bottom right, now I've got the number of my account that I've just connected with a green icon next to it. That actually means we've been connected. I'm gonna have to press next on a few of these, hit continue, and now you can see I've got my account connected, balance, which is exactly correct, my service status, connected, connected, um, open trades, there's none at the moment. But how about we go and place an order inside MT4, we are on a demo account, and we'll monitor them inside our TradeUX. So the way that you monitor them is through this all trades section here. So if I click on all trades, as I just have done, I'm going to be able to see all the um, available trades being pushed through. OK, so let's go ahead. Let's go back to our MT4. We'll just make a trade and then we're going to see it um, immediately. And then we'll close it down inside our TradeViewX and see that it's closed down inside MT4 immediately too. OK, so now we're inside our MT4. Let's just place an order on our Euro Pound. I am on a demo account here. 
Um, okay, let's just do a volume of one. We can see that that order has now been placed. So now let's go back to our TradeUX platform. So now we're inside our TradeUX platform. We can see on the live trading tab that trade is now appearing. So we can see Euro Pound, Lots 1, Entry Price. We can see the current P&L of that particular trade. And um, if we had a stop loss or take profit, the price would be on here as well. So if we close this trade down, we're going to take a little bit of a loss here, but I don't mind because it's just for, uh, you know, for, for the video purposes. But if I close this and go immediately back to our uh, MT4 account, we'll see that it should have now closed in MT4 as well. Okay, straight back into MT4 and we can see that the trade has now closed. It's no longer there. So you can see that you can be able to open trades either on the uh, MT4 terminal and close them out and manage them inside our TradeUX platform. So let's bring open TradeUX one more time. Okay, here we go. So you can see that trade is no longer ex existing. And um, if we were to go into, for example, our traders log, um, we're going to be able to see our, if we go to all trades, I should say. So all trades is going to show basically our, our account history. And um, if we were to go to account information, we're going to be able to see here what our particular account um, information is showing. So our daily P&L currently is at minus 9.68. So that's what, that's the small hit that we took on that particular trade. Um, you can do a really cool view inside here called exposure view. So inside the all trades uh, tab again, this is where you find exposure view. And what this is going to show you is, uh, let's just say we've got positions open on all of these markets that you're seeing here. You'll see how many dollars you're up or down quite visually and all color coordinated in green and red to show uh, where you've got exposure basically. So you can do it for the specific market here using positions open by market. Positions open by currency will show you either the base currency or the quart currency, depending on what you, uh, how you want to view your current exposure. Maybe you want to look at US dollar exposure and crosses and see whether you're making gains or losses because you're heading into a big news event. Uh, positions open by asset classes as well. You've got your CFDs um, for indices. You've got Forex miners, energies, cryptos, uh, commodities, CFDs. So the asset classes as well will show which ones you're making or losing money in as we speak. So that's how you monitor your trades inside the platform. Um, final thing, you can rename the workspaces at the bottom here. So let's just say we want to rename this to monitoring, monitoring, hit enter. Then we know that our workspace inside the TradeUX platform, inside this particular tab, we've got our monitoring. So you can click on this uh, icon here, you can pop it out, you can create your own dynamic dashboard, and that's how you can connect your TradeUX account to, uh, to your account and how you can monitor and manage your trades from the TradeUX environment. Hope, hope you've all enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in another one.